Welcome to Extreme Audits. In this video, I featured extreme interactions between the public and the police. They include News Now Omaha and Long Island Audit. Make sure you check out their channels, like, and subscribe and give them the credit they deserve. Let's get started. You me leaving your door open though. Step away from my vehicle right now. Step back. Get back. Do you not know how to listen? You have no problem you filming, but you will get away from me and my stop. You're obstructing my stop. If I have to pay attention to you and I can't watch him. Go do your job, man. I ain't stopping you from doing you, your job. If I have to pay hey, attention to you. Get, get a supervisor here, I now. am one. And you left your fucking door open like that? Or are you back off. Nope. If you don't move back so I can conduct my stop, I will arrest you. Fuck grass. What's your name, Bash? I'm going to do since you're giving us orders. Is that a state code? Yeah, move back. Move You're interfering with this traffic. Stop. No, I'm not. Do your job, man. Go do your job. We haven't said a word to that guy. Hey, what's your name and bash number since you're getting us orders? Harper's Store for 2788. Please up on the this curb. This guy left his car with the door wide open. Yeah, that's fine. The whole time stop. he's been that's... at that stop. Get okay. back. Stand back. On the let curb. Us, let him I do told his... you to get on the curb. Let him do his work. Go do your work, man. I will arrest you for obstruction because I cannot deal with this stop. Bro, go, go do your job, job man. Go, right? Yeah, go do, go do your job, you man. Do your job, then go get a job at McDonald's. Go do your job, man. That's stupid. We can stand here quietly and record, or you guys can, can quit. Act stupid. I mean, that's just crazy. Can I have your name for identification purposes? No, thank you. Okay. Well, you asked for mine. That's what I was wondering. You're a public that's official. You're a that's public why. Servant. You're a public official, man. We don't work you're for you. He said he's the supervisor. He's the supervisor. He's a supervisor. <laughs> you know, he's a sergeant. You don't want to learn from him, man. Is he a shit yeah, man? Yeah, no. Or a sergeant? He, he gonna get he? you in trouble, man. Yeah, you don't want to learn from him. Is he a sergeant? What, what type of... Can I get a sergeant? Why do you want a sergeant? To file a complaint? Against him, man. Acting unprofessional. Instead of just doing his job and doing what he's doing, he wants to come bother us. Unless you're going to protect him. Well, here's, here's the thing. Is when he's doing traffic stuff, mm -hmm. you're getting all up close to him. No, so he, he can't, wasn't getting close. Well, he well, when I got here, you were up here. Close as arm's reach. Well, we do this for a living. Yeah. That's your def well, I do this for a living. That's your definition of close. My exactly. definition I'm talking about that definition came from other cops. As long as you're not with an arm's reach, reach you're fine. No, yep. There's, no, that's the thing for the cops that aren't paranoid and that can handle doing their jobs, okay, well, that know, is correct. I don't know who you guys are and why you're coming up here. It doesn't matter. Stuff. It does matter. Does it look matter like you got guns safety, and bulges? Do you have enough it? for a Terry stop? You got any facts? You, you think we're armed and dangerous or what? I, I don't get no it. I have no idea. Bro, no idea. Just, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So why are you being paranoid and crazy about it saying get back? Because you're up here. For no crazy. reason. I understand Bro, it. He can, you thought we were armed and dangerous. That makes sense. That's reasonable. I don't care if you're recording. I just want you to step back. Bro, That's it. You want That's us all. to get back to where we can't see or hear anything. You're right there. You can see or hear everything. 
Not really. You can't see what he's typing in the screen. Okay, you don't need to see That's public screen. records. Yes, I do. It's acid. If you want to see what he's typing on the screen, <laughs> you are not allowed to go up and record his computer. <laughs> We just did the whole time he was up there. His door is unlocked, bro. If I wanted to, <laughs> I could have took off in his vehicle. He needs to secure his vehicle. Grab his it would be, but you see, the, the whole point I'm trying to say, though, is I could have easily took his car. You see what I'm saying? Kids. Well, I'm not a kid. You can cut that AR right out of there because the door was wide open. You see what I'm saying? I could have drove off, spun it around the block. Should have, could have, would have. You see what I'm saying? That's why we want to file the complaint. We're not see, searching this back. Yeah. But it's for leaving the door open. That's a problem. That's a safety issue. You're right Our about that. Are you going to cover for him? You want a sergeant? Well, we can get you a sergeant there in a minute. I'd like okay. to get a sergeant to file a complaint. Yep. See, if we were trying to do something, we would have took his car. Well, he's not a da he's not in danger. So we're just exercising our constitutional rights. Your cars with the windows open, the doors where, down. Where does it say that? In your policy. See. He's, he's caught in obstruction and interfering. He could do his job right there. Well, now when you guys are up here and up in the he, he could do his job, man. If he wanted to do something to him, uh, I could have took his car. That's a, that's a safety issue. Yeah, but I could have took his car, though, if I wanted to. His, well, his door is unlocked. You could do it. Well, how do I, how do I know that? How do exactly, I know that? Exactly. That's the point. <laughs> so, so you're going to convict us before you know? Or have are we both facts? making each other's points here? You can't, articul you're you can't articulate a fact, but you're just going to go ahead and convict us. Of what? Of being criminals and saying, get back. I said, I don't know. Because I'm I fearing for my life. Officer safety. I don't know who you are. Come on, man. That's crazy. You got to be reasonable. We're here with cameras, not guns. We are exercising our first amendment rights. with cameras have you been attacked by personally? Attacked personally? Yeah. I haven't been attacked personally. Exactly. Nobody has. It's always the first time, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <It's always laughs> first time. I, guess. I mean, you come over and beat me over the head with a camera. I don't know. <laughs> it's possible. I'm not saying that you would, but I mean, hey. <laughs> There's a first time for everything. We didn't record, man. We didn't even want to say a word. Yeah, we really. Know. Nobody says anything else. We don't say nothing. Pretty we much. Quietly record and narrate, narrate for our viewers. You know. That's, that's it. it, man. And he wants to come up with an attitude, so I come with an attitude, man. Respect goes both ways, man. I, I agree. Right. Yes. What? Agree. See, I ain't been disrespectful towards you. It was only him because he was disrespectful towards me. I think another thing I noticed. He was telling you to get up on that sidewalk, never said the, a thing to me, and I was standing right there. It was always approaching you, man. I don't know. Did you notice that shit? Yeah, oh, I just noticed. I noticed that shit. Well, I appreciate it's, that. It's a race thing? Is that what you're alluding to? Well, it sure yeah, makes you, you wonder, doesn't it? Are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> well, well, well what else would it be? Does he look more armed and dangerous than that guy with the big stick? I mean, he's going to be a little garbage dangerous. I just don't know who you are. Are you serious? Is that what, is that what we're doing? I don't it's know. It's a video, man. The sergeant's on the way. We're standing here. We will. Thank you very much. Hey, what's your name about it? I'm standing here. You guys don't say to me. And he never even said a word to me. Don't say to him to stop the phone. And he never even said a word to me. I do what you ought to get back. And you were standing right there when he was doing it. So, pal, whatever. I told you all to get back and you all got back, right? I never moved. Yes, even you when did. You, you moved said over it. here. Even when you said it, I never moved. So you say you saying it's everybody that's coming? Yeah. All right. How long is it going to be? He's coming for third store in 41. How long is that? Like, how many minutes? Driving it's five, ten minutes away. That's where she is. Just over the bridge. Uh, All right, guys. Take care. Well, you too. See, if I, if I wanted to do something, I could have took his car and drove off with it. You know what I'm saying? I know. Like, like he he could have, he could have been, I could have been done that. Then on top of it, he's telling you not to go film his, his and I'm up there talking it. I'm up there filming his. His stop, yeah, that's crazy. Never said a word to me. Never fucking said a word to me. Are you right about hey, the... What's up, John Seaway? Angel, everybody smash that thumbs up. Get that Oh, man, I there. broke my phone, dude. Hey. Very calm. There it is. Yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Is she stupid or what? I don't know. Let her come to us. Yeah. And then as she pulls up, get on the side of her car. She's getting her dash cams on us. I know.
So you're, I don't know who that guy was, but your officer was very unprofessional, telling us to step back from filming his traffic stop, and he left his car door open. And he's trying to claim officer safety. If we really wanted to do something to that officer, we could have took his car. Because his car was like wide open. What, what is the complaint? He's being rude and unprofessional. Yeah. Okay, was he, where was the stop? Right here. Right here. Okay. My complaint is, is that he left his car door open, you know, for small children to access it. Uh, it's just unsafe for the community. It's not uh, unsafe for the community. It's against the so, policy. It's against so your, you know why our, is it against your policy? You know policy yes, sir? I do. Really okay. well. One, it's against your policy. Okay. Listen. So you're just going to cover up for him? Do we need to take this don't to the next level? In my mouth. Let's start there. Let's start there. He's the on a traffic stop. Hold on a second. If he's on a traffic stop and he asks you to back up, it's a safety issue, whether it's a stop, whether it's a call for service. Whether we're 1,000 feet it's or 5,000 feet, really. No, I'm telling you, you can't be. That is, that is interfering with an investigation. A thousand feet away. You cannot interfere with an investigation. We didn't interfere. A traffic stop is an investigation. But we're, what, we were, all we were we doing was filming. Like, what we're we doing with you, we're filming. You can film, but you can't be too close to him. We, won't, we exactly. wasn't, though. That's, I don't know. That's Where was his stop? Where was his stop? His, the, tra the car he pulled over was here. His car that he was in here, his door's wide open. Yeah. You guys can film all day long. You know your constitutional right. Okay, you know your constitutional right. You know your constitutional right. We didn't say a word to him. We didn't Do you like to talk him. to other people, sir? Because you I'm, asked I'm the finishing. Question. I'm making the okay. complaint. Are you going to listen okay. to the... No, me? I'm not going to. Not if you're going to talk over me. Be unreasonable? If you're going to talk over me, I'm not going to listen to you. Okay? I'm the one filing the complaint. To. How am I talking over and you? You're talking over me. If he is on a traffic stop, if he is on a traffic stop, that is an investigation. That's not my complaint. Okay, that is not... That is my complaint. My complaint was his door being open. Well, he can have his door open. No, he can't. He's on a stop. Yes, That's he can. Unsafe. Are you done? Do you have any other complaints? That's the second have one. A good a night. I'm going to leave. Officer did it a little bit ago. Excuse me, ma'am. What's your name and badge number for the yeah. record? Sergeant Martinez, badge mm. 2249. Do you have that? No, Lieutenant's Available. busy right now. Okay. okay. You want to wait a little bit? We have an incident we that we're working. Okay. No, he's busy right now. Will he be at the so department you wanna, later when he's not busy? We can. You want to leave your information? We'll have him call you. Okay. Well, we can come back in the morning, I guess. You can wait. He's on a call. How long will when he's be? available? I can't tell you. It could be five minutes. It could be ten. It could be an hour. I can reach out waiting. to him if you want a lieutenant. I can reach out to him. Okay. Hey man. Have to wait. Hey, hey, next time, officer, don't leave your car door open. All right. I can leave my car door open. I'm on a traffic stop. Back that's up. that's dangerous. Back up. Don't you know? tell us how to do our no, job. No, I'm definitely going to tell you how to do your job. Tell me how to because do he had his car door open. That's unsafe. Okay, you if you're going to claim officer safety, I'll call, I'll call if you're going to claim officer I'll safety, don't leave your car door open. You too, ma'am. Hey, 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 and, and stay safe, all right? Stay safe. Why is she, why is she speeding off? I don't know. Um, who, who are you, sir? I'm Commander Grimes. I'm administrator. I'm just walking around the facility with a camera. Oh, Commander Grimes. Oh, no, no, I don't need any help. Thank you, sir. Oh, I'm just taking some pictures and video. Of the facility. Of the facility, the perimeter fence. Why is that, sir? The facility in general, sir. Right, but you're over here by our mobile range. Yeah, I was I was checking out the mobile range. I never seen a mobile shooting range before. Okay, and you're taking pictures of our exterior fence. What's your name, sir? Oh, I'm not gonna give my name, sir. Why not? Just because I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just asking, and you're walking around our border fence. Yeah. Well, my first name's Sean. Sean. Yeah. Mhm. Mm you don't want to give me your last name, sir? Oh uh, no, no. I'm, a, I'm an independent journalist, Commander. Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Commander Grimes. Again, I'll make this very clear. I do not mind correctional officers, law enforcement officers asking me what I'm doing. I am taking pictures of this public facility. I know it is a correctional facility. And, you know, if they want to ask me any questions, that's fine. I even told them my first name was Sean. Independent journalist, just taking some pictures and video. That's all. Across the street from the correctional facility, it looks like we have um, an airport. In the distance there, you can see the control tower.
Hey, how are you? What's going on? Uh, nothing. Can I just get your name and badge number, please? Yeah, it's uh, Deputy Smith. My badge number is 213. Okay. Yeah. Thank What's going you. on? Nothing. You're just in a, one, you're right outside the board of the airport, and two, you're over right across from the jail, so you're kind of in a suspicious area right now. Yeah, I'm just taking some pictures and video. What for? I'm an independent journalist. Okay. Do you, do you have your ID on you? I do have my ID on me, yeah. Yeah, can I, can I just see that, please? For what? Because you're in uh, right next to the airport. Okay. And you're in, right outside the jail, so I'd like to just see some ID, see who I'm dealing with. How would that, how does that help you in your investigation? Because if you're, if, what I'm trying to figure out is just who you are and see maybe if I, when I run your identity, I can figure out what's going on here and see who will you, you are exactly. Will, will, will my ID tell you if I'm an independent journalist or not? When no, you're, it won't. Does it tell you? What do you, what do you have going on right now? Just because I have the jail calling right now, I have the COs coming over right now. Yeah. We just want to know what's going on. Actually. Yeah. I just told you though. What, what do you? I just told you, deputy. I just told you. What's, what are you doing? Uh, I'm an independent journalist. What is it I'm working you? on a story. What's the story? The story is on the county of Albany, as well as the, the, um, the airport here, and the correctional facility. What, what are you writing about the facility? Oh, just general information about the facility. It's not published yet, so I really don't want to get into too many specifics. What, uh, what company do you work for? Oh, it, oh independent. Independent, sorry, yeah. independent. So I work for myself, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just curious. I just don't think that my ID would, you know, I do have it on me, but I don't think that's gonna, I don't, I don't see how that's gonna help you out in any way. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, it'll help me figure out who you are. What's your name? My first name's Sean. Sean, what's yeah. your last name? I'm, I don't want to give out any identifying information as far as my full name or address or my ID or anything like that. Why is that? Because I haven't committed a crime. That's why. Yeah, but the area you're in is a very, it's a very unusual area to be in. Right? At a, at a side on a public easement? No, you're in between the airport and you're in between the jail right now. Oh, yeah. So it's not, this isn't a normal spot for something. How you guys doing? doing? Good. You're an independent journalist, but I want to know, what. how much longer do you plan on being here for? Uh, as soon as I'm done with my story that I'm working on, any any right. pictures that I long, get. About how long do you think you'll be here for? I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. Okay. All right. You're welcome to hang out if you like. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Okay, you're welcome to hang out. You can continue doing what you're doing for right now. And I, I know. I'll come back and talk to you in a second, okay? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll be Thanks. here. Thanks I'll be for here. Cooperating. Yeah. Mm hmm. You guys work for the correctional facility here? Yep. Okay. So you guys have no authority over here, right? No, it's not. You have no authority over here, just so you know. It doesn't matter. Your job is to keep peace inside the correctional facility. Can't do anything outside the jail. <laughs> they can't do anything outside the jail. You know that. I'll make you a deal, deputy. I'll make you a deal. If you give me a driver's license, I'll give you my driver's license. Is that a deal? No. Oh, yeah. It's windy. He's unreadable with wind interference. Hopefully you guys can hear me and everything that's going on. It's very windy out here. Take care, deputy. I don't know why these correctional officers come outside the jail. They have no authority outside of those walls. They're not law enforcement officers. I don't really understand it. Don't get it. And another thing I don't get is, what about my identification? would help ease any concerns over a law, you know, by, by a law enforcement officer. Did you guys see that when I asked him, you know, how does my ID help you? He kind of like stuttered and, you know, didn't really have words to say because it doesn't. 
It doesn't. That's my new that's my new go-to question when they ask me for ID. How does that help you out? How? Is it going to tell you I'm an independent journalist? Is it going to tell you that I'm a peaceful journalist? Is it going to tell you my intentions here? It's not. They just want ID because they want it. And that's just the way it is. So this is the Albany International Airport here. I believe it's just, you know, private private planes things of that nature It is just kind of an odd area, that's it, just because you're in between the jail and the airport. Um, really, we have no problem with it. It's just we wanted to see who was over here and what you were doing over here. That's right. Yeah, and I, and I told you, right? Yep, you did. Yep. I told you. So, right. honestly, you're good to do whatever you got to do. I appreciate and, uh, that. Thanks. And, Thanks. Uh, just the biggest thing is just don't go on don't the do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. What? Don't do it. You're gonna give me some meaningless directives, no, no, and no, I don't no, want to. No, I don't. No, no, I'm no. Tell you, oh no, no! I'm gonna tell you right now. Don't go on the other side of this fence. Come it's on. It's a secure area for the airport. Okay. That's all. That's when, all I'm just saying. Wait, and then when you walk, when you walk your dog off. later, make sure he has a leash on him. And then. Do you see? On the opposite side. Come on. If you go over near the jail. That's another problem too. I'm just saying, it's there's no filming. In but the you're just. I, listen. I just want. You're just telling me things that you're telling me things that have nothing to do with me. Was I ever in the jail? Was I ever on that side of the fence? You weren't. But I'm just trying to tell you. Like, just you're in Just so here. I know. Are you from around here? Just so I know, right? Have you been around here before? This is my first time. This is my first time here. Yeah, okay, this so, is my first time so here. Right. See, but I'm not gonna go. For you, just but so you know, I can read. Do you see that the signs on the fence say restricted area? Yeah, signs on the fence. They're on the other side, there is. Yeah, right over there. Right? Yeah. In this area where we're standing <laughs> right now, dude. I'm not trying to get you yeah. hard. I'm just trying to figure out who you No, yeah. I, I told you. My name's Sean. I'm an independent journalist. Okay. That's it. How you doing, Stephanie? Okay. Just, I just want to make sure you knew where you were going. I okay. didn't want you to end up in somewhere you're not supposed to be. Yeah. It's an odd spot for you to be outside, the, in between the airport and the jail. Yeah. But besides that, you're good to go. So right. have a nice day, alright? Make sure your seatbelt's on when you get in the car, okay? Right, thank you. No problem. Stay safe. Can I just get your name, sir? What? Yeah. Feliciano. And your badge number, Feliciano? One, two, three. Thank you. Appreciate it. That concludes this video's most extreme interactions. Please make sure you check out their channels to watch the full videos. I've shared the links in the description below. If you enjoyed the most extreme First Amendment audits YouTube has to offer, please like and subscribe to my channel.